Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and today we are going to be doing a pick a card reading about why are you seeing signs and synchronicities from the universe. So you guys could be seeing repeating numbers as of 222, 333, 444, or any other number variation that you're seeing. You could be seeing signs such as repeating animals. So maybe you're seeing signs of animals that you keep seeing through symbolism, actual animals, or just in conversation. Possibly you guys keep hearing the same name over and over. Um, maybe you're feeling deja vu, but just those are some examples. If you guys are dealing with any of that, this is going to be your guys' reading. So I have three different cards that you can choose from right in front of you. Go ahead and choose the card that your intuition is drawing you towards and I will have the timestamps in my description box whenever you guys are ready to just go straight to your reading. Um, but before I go ahead and get started with my pile and people, I just want to say that I am offering paid private readings at this time. I will have my Etsy link down below in my description box if you guys are wanting to purchase a private reading with me. I have two different offers or two different options for reading styles. Um, I have a same day or 24 hour response for a type of reading where you go ahead and send me messages of your reading up to three questions and I send you pictures along with your detailed description message of your guys's reading. I'm also offering paid private readings as of this where it's video style so you'll, you guys would get videos like this on YouTube uh, sent to you as your own personal private reading. So that's all that I gotta say, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my Pile 1 people, and I will see all of you guys very, very soon. Hey, Pile 1, welcome to your guys' pick a card reading about why are you seeing signs and synchronicities. And like I was saying in the very beginning intro of my video, you could be seeing repeating numbers, names, animals, symbols, deja vu, but anything that you guys could be feeling or seeing, we're going to be figuring out as to why that is happening to you. So your guys's card is the Avenger card and right off the bat I was getting that you are mostly seeing these signs, angel numbers, or animals. It's because you guys are going to be finding out some sort of truth or receiving some sort of karma. When I see the Avenger this is making me think of like, I don't know if you guys have seen the movie Robin Hood, maybe that's actually a sign that you guys have been seeing as symbolisms of that movie. Um, I'm also hearing Disney movies could be significant for someone here watching this video. That could be clarification for you. Um, but I'm also, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm hearing channel messages now. You guys could be seeing the angel number 111444 or 1111. I'm also hearing 777 could also be significant. I'm also seeing foxes, those animals, and squirrels. Foxes and squirrels are animals that you guys could be seeing a lot of right now. But as I was going to say, the reason why you guys picked this card is I feel like you guys are going to be either getting some sort of good karma being sent your way, you're going to be receiving karmic justice, but this is making me think that something was taken from you. Or I'm hearing the word swindled. It felt like something was swindled from you. Someone stole something from you. Maybe someone literally did physically steal something from you. But this is making me think that you guys are... It's making me think that you guys have been doing a lot of good deeds, but it feels like a lot of things have been kind of like not going your way. I'm hearing sneaky. Someone's been sneaky behind your back or something behind the scenes hasn't been very truthful or possibly there's something that's been hidden from you from your spirit guides that they're about to reveal to you. But this is making me think of things are going to be balanced out in your life. So if you feel like things have been a little bit uh, shaky, hazy, there's a lot of confusion as to what is going on in my life right now. The reason why is because I'm hearing picking yourself back up. You guys are in the process of picking yourself back up, um, but also something's going to be revealed to you, and I'm seeing blue and yellow, so it's making me think of communication. Um, you're either going to be receiving some form of communication, maybe you guys are going to be receiving a letter, an email, but some form of writing or some form of communication through phone call, um, email, text message, that could be giving you the confidence or possibly bringing you some form of good news or positivity. Um, that's kind of what I was getting from your guys' card, but 
let's go ahead and see what other things you guys could be experiencing what else your guides are wanting you to know about these signs and synchronicities okay so we got birds and it says number 12 it says worry excitement gossip nervousness nervousness communication messages phone calls yeah i was just telling you and also blue and yellow do you see that wow okay so you guys could be seeing a lot of blue and yellow right now those could be colors that you're seeing i'm also seeing 12 12 111 222 um or 333 those could be numbers that you're seeing as well i'm also hearing the 12th so i'm seeing the 12th being significant so possibly yeah now i'm hearing dates so 12 days from this video you guys are going to be receiving some form of communication or on the 12th of a month. Um, I'm hearing Sagittarius in my head. So it could be in the form of someone. Someone could be a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising that could be sending you this message. Or possibly you're a Sagittarius. But that's what I'm hearing in my head. Um, but the reason why you guys are seeing signs and synchronicities is you guys are going to be getting some sort of message from someone you guys are going to be receiving some form of communication there's something here about um messages phone calls communication i feel like you guys are anticipating this it, it's making me think that you guys are waiting for this to happen i don't really know why okay you got these two cards too Okay, fish, and it says money, finances, prosperity. Maybe you guys are waiting for some form of money to be coming in the mail, or you're waiting for that phone call. I'm hearing job application or some form of a um, job interview. Yeah, you guys have been having some form of issues when it comes to your money. I'm hearing there's been a no... Okay, I'm hearing two different messages here. The reason why you guys are seeing signs and synchronicities, and there's two things that are going on with you, Pile One. One of the things is your spirit guides are going to be letting you know that the issues that you guys could be having when it comes to money, career, abundance, or possibly financial freedom, there's something about being free, you guys are going to be getting some sort of resolved issue with that. I'm also seeing that there's some some form of no communication that's going on that is about to end for you very soon. And again, 12-21, right? 2-1-1-2, as well as 3-4. Those are the numbers I was seeing for you earlier, but I'm seeing 111-222-333-444. Also, this turns into a 7. The 3 and the 4 turn to a 7. So I was seeing all those numbers for you earlier. But that is a confirmation that this message is for you. But you guys, pile 1, you guys are going to be basically overcoming a huge obstacle in your life. There's issues when it comes to people, but there's also issues that I'm seeing when it comes to your money. I'm seeing something about um confusion uh challenges obstacles whatever that is you guys are going to be having some form of good karma or justice or balance entering your guys's life very soon that is why you guys are seeing these numbers these animals these colors so let's go ahead and keep going and see what else we can get for you why is pile one seeing these angel numbers animals um divination okay it says the answers you seek are coming the outcome is still unknown help will come when you need it so yeah i'm seeing some form of help i feel like you guys have been like asking your spirit guides like when are things going to be getting better for me you guys could even be like getting a lot of tarot readings done right now i'm also hearing yeah, maybe you guys are getting tarot readings about a certain person as to why they're not talking to you, or possibly someone's getting some readings done on you, but I'm definitely seeing here, I'm seeing angelic help. I'm hearing angelic help. I'm seeing that your spirit guides want to be there to support you. I'm seeing that help is on the way. That's what I keep hearing is help is on the way, and a lot of it has to do with money. I'm seeing money in your work and career is one of the bigger things that you guys are stressed about, but there's also this message too about about some form of communication. I don't know if this is all related. Maybe you're waiting for communication when it comes to some sort of money thing, or these could be two separate things where money's coming in, but you're also receiving communication from someone that you guys have been uh, having issues with. But 
Wow, you got spirituality and divination, but this card says you are being divinely guided. Uh, trials in life will make you stronger. Faded events are unfolding. Again, those yellow and blue. I feel like, okay, money is coming. If you guys are stressed, and I, I just realized I put the colors on the same cards where the colors are. I'm seeing red, blue, yellow, blue, even the red is here. Those are colors that you could be seeing is yellow, red, and blue. Those are a lot of signs that you guys could be seeing when it comes to that. I'm hearing, I saw this and I'm seeing this as Aries. Maybe some of you guys are an Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising, but there's something about an communication with an Aries now that I'm seeing as this. Okay, there's a reason. I feel like someone is being guided to you. I don't know if this is someone that you're not in communication with. I don't know if you've been having communication issues, but expect some form of communication coming to you from an Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising. There's something really divinely guided with that. This could be someone that you're not talking to, or this is someone that maybe you haven't spoken to before, but there's something about fate when it comes to that. That's why you're seeing these angel numbers. Um, I'm also hearing that you may be able to help this person in some form of way. This is just making me think that you guys are going to be receiving the money that you guys have been wanting, asking for. Um, yeah, that kind of stuff. So, Let's go ahead and keep going and see what other messages that we can get for you as to why you are seeing signs and synchronicities between worlds. It says torn between two paths, based between the old and the new, trying to balance your two lives and, tra and, tra and transition. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm stuttering this morning. Um, what's funny is we got two worlds. And we also got scales of justice. The reason why I find that so interesting is the scales is two different sides. And also you have between two worlds. So I feel like there's going to be a really big decision. Not only that, you have two things coming in, right? So 222 two, two seems to be a really prominent number that I'm seeing for you. So I don't know if you've been seeing that number more frequently. But this is making me think of a major decision. There's going to be a lot of choices and options that are about to enter your guys' life very, very soon. Which is why I feel like you guys are seeing these numbers. I'm seeing changes in friendships, changes in partnerships, relationships. As well as choices when it comes to your... I keep hearing love life. Now I'm hearing love life now um i might need to get my love deck i'm hearing there's going to be a choice between people so again this could be choices and friendships connections or your love life or people in your life in general it doesn't have to be romantic but i'm seeing the other thing that you guys are going to be dealing with is people let me uh yeah i'm gonna do this and see what are these choices when it comes to connections talking about oh wow okay so we got breakup Walking away, ending separation, it's over. So maybe if you guys are in a relationship, and even if this is not talking about a romantic relationship, this could be a friendship. Maybe you guys are going to be making the, de 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 <laughs> stuttering, the decision to walk away from someone. Or possibly this Aries that I was hearing, right? Maybe this Aries is going to be coming to you after they break up with someone or maybe they left someone or possibly this could just be an ending in an Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising's life. I'm seeing an ending for someone here. I don't know if it's you or if it's this Aries, but there's going to be communication about an ending between you and another person. Um, why is that spirit? Okay, I'm seeing toxic attachment, drugs, alcohol obsession. So they could be talking to you about how they may want to leave a situation because it's not good for them. It's unhealthy. Um, they may be wanting to give you, uh, maybe they're going to be giving you advice. But I'm seeing there's going to be some sort of conversation with an Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising about wanting to either help you get out of a really sticky situation or you're going to be giving them advice about helping them get out of a very sticky situation. Um, yeah, what else? Mystery. Proposal. Toxic relationship. Yeah, I feel like, yeah. 
unknown confusing I, i'm getting that they're going to be feeling very confused or you are very confused about what to do with your connections your love life relationship dynamics and again we have mask hidden motive lying disguise someone here i don't know if this is the aries or if this is you someone is very very confused about what to do next when it comes to their love life or their connections when it comes to people and I feel like you're going to be talking to them about it or they're going to be talking to you about it and they I'm also seeing this witch here and I'm seeing a lot of divination so maybe you guys read tarot or maybe you're very in tune maybe you have a really strong intuition maybe the reason why this person is going to be coming to you is because they want you to do a reading for them or they want you to give them your advice as to what to do next in their relationship or possibly like i said this could be someone um that you're talking to you're asking them for advice but i'm seeing that there's some sort of love offer here um I don't know if this is something that you or this person is going through. You're trying to figure out if you want this to be some sort of a commitment or engagement with this toxic relationship or this Aries sun, moon, or rising could be offering you something because they want to help you get out of this other uh, sticky situation. Okay, I'm seeing that. Uh, this is going to be... Okay, I just grabbed this and it says about to reveal confess. So I feel like this could actually... I feel like this is someone coming to you, Pile One. I'm just, I'm seeing it. This airy sun, moon, or rising is going to be telling you how they feel about you or how they feel about the situation. There's going to be some sort of confession here, a truth revealed. Um, and I was feeling sneaky early, like energy earlier. So maybe there's been some sneakiness behind your back, um, which is why this person wants to be honest and truthful with you again it's going to be different for everyone but i'm seeing some sort of like truth oh god some sort of truth being revealed to you and did you see how the cards kind of fell out of my hands it's making me think of word vomiting or just everything's about to be spilling right spilling the tea there's going to be a huge truth bomb headed your way um about some sort of connection in your guys's life um yeah, I, I'm telling you, it's about to happen. TikTok, deadline, time running out. There's some sort of time constraint on this. Maybe this is literally an engagement, but I'm seeing that this is going to be happening anytime now. Um, a lot of waves and moons. So this is a lot of emotions. I'm, I'm just getting that they can't hide their feelings or they can't hide this from you for much longer. I feel like this is about to come out very, very soon. Um Yeah, secret admirer, suppression, resistant shyness. So this could literally be something that was suppressed from you or this airy sun, moon, or rising that I was feeling. I'm going to get my dice to see what other zodi zodiac signs they could be as well. But I was getting that this person could be confessing feelings to you. This person could be telling you about something that's going behind the scenes, behind your back. But something's been hidden from you and this person's about to spill the tea. What zodiac sign is this person besides an Aries? They could be a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. They could be a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. They could be a Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. They could be a Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. An Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising. So all fire signs here. As well as a Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising. When is this person about to reveal this to them? This could be during Virgo season. During Libra season as well as Pisces season. So Virgo and Libra are right before one another. So Virgo season actually starts between the end of August through September. And Libra season is September through October. And then Pisces season is February and March. So whenever you guys um, decide, or sorry, whenever you guys have happened to click on this video, that's when this person's gonna be revealing that to you. So let's see what else we can get about things that are going to be, I just keep hearing things that are going to be revealed to you. So I guess the reason why you're seeing angel numbers is things being revealed to you. So see, let's see what else is going to be revealed to you very, very soon. 
Four of Pentacles, being too frivolous or too cautious with money, good business decisions, giving to those less fortunate. So funny that I said Robin Hood earlier. Um, this is making me think that you guys are going to be getting some form of stability when it comes to money. I'm also seeing that there's going to be choices when it comes to your career and finances. There are things coming up about money here. So I'm seeing um, stability in your money. I'm seeing that you guys could also be getting money through a company, through a form of paperwork. Yeah, the chariot here, seven, again, four and seven. I keep seeing these numbers here. So it says an important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. So I'm seeing that another thing that your spirit guides want you to know is you guys are about to be seen. I'm seeing revealed as in you're going to be revealed, right? You're going to be standing up in a new position. People are going to be recognizing your worth. I'm seeing that you guys are going to be getting some form of recognition when it comes to things that you could be doing behind the scenes when it comes to your career and finances and i'm seeing a big payout coming to you because of it um four seven so april 7th could be significant or july 4th so 4th of july around that time could be significant we also got the ace of cups here falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship spiritual growth and enhanced intuition a new home so maybe you guys are saving up to buy a new house maybe what this four of pentacles is is a new foundation so new foundation could be a new home environment a new relationship this could be new money new career but i'm seeing something new that you're going to be really happy about because of something that you've been working on behind the scenes let's see what area of your life this could be talking about for some of you guys i'm hearing a new relationship a new home or a new job so let's just see Okay, so we got the fifth house, we got Saturn as well as Mars. So I'm seeing something that was blocked or, yeah, no communication, something that was a challenge, something that was blocked in your life is about to take a really big leap forward. And I'm seeing that this is something that could do with romance, love, creativity, or something that you're really passionate about. So kind of just take what resonates. So again, if you're putting a lot of time and attention into your career, this could be what this is talking about. Have more creativity if there's been a lot of creative blocks you guys are working through that um, if this is going to be more romance in your love life that could be a new relationship because this is kind of like newness in love so this is like a new brand new relationship with someone um, and if it's not talking about that I'm just seeing that you guys are really focused on something, something that you're really intrigued by, something that you're really passionate about. And the five is making me think of a change. So there's going to be a change when it comes to um, getting something that you guys have been manifesting. And again, it's going to be different for literally everyone watching here. So just kind of take what resonates for you. Um, you know, let's see. Let's, let's see. What is this new thing? Let's just see if we can get some more indications. Uh, flaw, complications, loss. Something that you lost, something that you felt stressed about. So this is something that you have been really, really stressed. Again, that turns into a five. So you guys could be seeing a lot of five, five, fives. Um, anything that you have been feeling stressed about, anxious about, wondering what's going to happen, this is what's going to become new and also what's going to become unblocked. But not only that, Saturn is all about karma. This is something that you've been working really hard on. This is something that's been intentionally not coming to fruition for you because you've been needing to do the work. You've been healing and now you're going to be blessed with good karma. Okay, the bottom of the deck, it says coffin. So you guys had to be able to have some sort of ending so that you could mourn, so that you could recover and heal. And you've been in this period of waiting of resting of overcoming challenges again the, the chariot is all about willpower and overcoming loss and hardship so you guys have been kind of going through it and i'm seeing that you guys are going to be blessed for this time and i just flipped the cards and it went to child again the number four the 13 turns to a four this is a new beginning for you creativity joy freedom uh naive i can't even say that anyway newness fresh experiences, new emotional energy. I'm just seeing like you're going to be feeling very refreshed. I'm seeing this as a new beginning for you guys. Um, but yeah, pile one. Before I go ahead and end off this video, a tarot card just fell on the floor. So let me go pick that up. 
Yeah, I just got the Three of Swords. So the Three of Swords fell. So this is kind of just reiterating what I'm saying for you. Um, you've been going through, again, we have breakup too. So this could be some sort of breakup or ending. You guys have been in this mode of healing. Um, forgiving yourself and other people involved, but you've been really taking the time to heal, which is why these things haven't been coming in. But again, you're going to be getting your spark back. You're going to be getting your confidence back. You're going to be feeling new and improved and fresh and wanting to start new projects, um, wanting to go out and meet new people. I'm just seeing a lot of newness. And I'm also seeing that if you guys have been struggling with money, I'm seeing either a new job or some form of new money coming in uh, through email, communication, phone call, that kind of stuff. But as I was saying before I end off your guys' video pile one, I want to do some charms to see if we can get some any more messages. And then that will be about it. So I'm going to move all my dice out of my charm bowl really quickly before I go ahead and get started on this. I keep seeing, I'm seeing my charm bowl right now and I'm looking at the charm that says music. There's something about music and you maybe you singing music. There's, I don't know, I'm seeing music being important for someone here. So let's kind of take what resonates. The three of swords is right here. That is so funny. Okay, let's see. We got a chair, so wow, did you see that? This talks about someone leaving or entering your life and it switched over to the eight ball, which talks about your intuition. I'm hearing listen to your intuition, but I feel like you know someone is about to leave or enter your life soon. You also got this as well as team. I'm seeing that your spirit guides are trying to encourage you to open up about something. That's what I'm seeing this as. This is making me think of like champagne. Also, 5-3 is on here. Again, 53 could be a number that you're seeing. Um, but this is making me think that you guys are going to be opening up or talking about something that was really difficult. Or this could be talking about you um, communicating to someone about how you're dealing with stress again it's making me think that your spirit guides are sending someone to you to talk about something or you're going to be helping someone else out but there's some form of divine guidance or divine fated meeting some someone's coming towards you and it's it's divinely guided i don't know why but i'm feeling that um number four is here again we have a tower here. So this is making me think of a lighthouse. So being able to see the light, the truth. But this is also making me think of a tower moment in your guys' life. Again, there's going to be a foundation change. Um, so yeah, just flip to seeing. Did you see that? There's something about a foundation change. I'm also seeing more playful times after a period of destruction or stress or fatigue. Let's see, we got Leo here as well. That could be a confirmation for someone. So maybe there's a Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. This is making me think, what is that? Is that a pentacle? 98. I'm going to look at that really quick in my charm book to see if that's a Ace of Pentacles. I, I don't know if it's Ace of Wands or Ace of Pentacles. I'm going to look that up really quick. Really, really, really quick. And we got 98. I'm seeing there could be a Leo whose birthday is 1998. That could be significant for someone here. Um, I'm also seeing that this, you could be seeing 111, 11, 10, 10. Again, there, you're getting a lot of different types of numbers. So kind of just take what resonates for you. But let's look up the 98 really quick. Um, okay, it says energetic charismatic, warm, spiritual fire sign. So this is an ace of wands. There's some sort of new opportunity that's a really passionate opportunity that could be coming to you from a Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. We also got play here. So this could be a new partnership, a new connection. This could be someone that you are going to start seen um, romantically. This could be a new friendship. This could be someone that wants to offer you something that you're really excited about. But we have but here. So it's making me think that you guys, I'm getting two messages here. There's going to be this like feeling of like, oh yeah, I want to hang out with this person. Oh yeah, I want to do this opportunity. This is so exciting. This is something that I've been wanting and dreaming about. But I have hesitation. You're, you're stressed about it. You're confused about it. You don't know if you can trust it. Um, but yeah, I'm seeing some form of offer coming to you from a Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising that could be romantic or platonic, but something that you're really excited about, something that's very exciting, creative, heartfelt, feel driven to, but you have some res reservations 
about it. You guys have a lot of things here talking about stability. Sorry, you guys. So yeah, I'm seeing that you guys, you're going to be given something. I'm feeling like this is a time for you to be given blessings. This is about a time for you to receive blessings after a time of hardship. And I'm seeing also that there's a lot of stability that's about to be entering your guys' life soon after a time of loss, defeat, and confusion, okay? Um, I also got this leaf here which talks about a new beginning, a new leaf, right? This can talk about spring, so the, the leaves are starting to grow during the springtime after the season of fall and winter where things were falling and dying. So something ended in your life or it's about to so that something new can enter your life it's like a new cycle that's why you're seeing angel numbers pile one but pile one that is all that i have for you so if you liked this reading go ahead and comment like and subscribe down below i'll be posting more videos like this in the future and i will see all of you guys next time bye you pal two, welcome to your guys's pick a card reading about why are you seeing signs and synchronicities right now um right off the bat I'm hearing connecting with Aphrodite, connecting with a goddess or god. There's some sort, I don't know if you guys believe in deities or, you know, certain spirits or, you know, gods or goddesses that will want to work with you, but I'm seeing that there's some form of god or goddess that wants to work with you when it comes to your aesthetic self-love, beauty, your confidence, as well as possibly your love life, if there's any issues when it comes to your love life. But I'm getting that there's a deity that wants to work with you. So I'm getting that right off the bat. And I'm I'm seeing it's more focused towards your self-love, your self-expression, how you feel about yourself, your physical beauty, um, and also connections with others. I'm hearing boundaries when it comes to connections with others. So I'm seeing that right off the bat. So you could be seeing a lot of signs of certain gods or goddesses, certain symbolisms, numbers, smells, names, relating to those deities. And it's gonna be different for everyone watching this video. So kind of just take what resonates. This is a general reading. I'm seeing the color red being significant. So you guys could be seeing a lot of red or being really drawn to the color red but I'm seeing for you some of the reasons why you're seeing angel numbers is I'm seeing some form of glow up happening in your guys's life very very soon like very very soon um, this could be a physical glow up I'm seeing that your guys's mental health could become a lot better I'm seeing better sleep you guys want to like focus on your wellness I'm hearing wellness and diet so you guys are going to be wanting to take better care of yourself through self-care depending on what that means for you pile two um, I'm also seeing something about boundaries again, like I was, I, like I was hearing before. Better boundaries with people. Um, I'm hearing single and ready to mingle. So I don't know if you guys just recently got out of a very hard relationship or it doesn't have to be romantic either but i'm feeling like you guys have ended a cycle in your life and you guys are just really working on healing yourself right now focusing on you and i'm seeing that what's going to be happening really soon for you guys pile two is a sense of a new beginning when i see the goddess it makes me think of the empress which makes me think of creating a new life for yourself a new beginning self-love i'm hearing your self-love journey um but also also, it makes me think of love and beauty so I feel like even if you are a masculine if you define yourself as masculine I'm seeing that you guys are going to be really focused on bettering yourself right now making yourself feel special maybe you guys are going to be starting to eat healthier working out at the gym um, but I'm seeing self-care that's a new thing that's something that you guys are going to be working on really really soon and I'm seeing that you guys are going to be achieving some form of body goal or aesthetic goal you guys are going to be looking really good and I'm hearing August so possibly in the month of August this is going to be a significant time for you but I'm seeing August is like when you're going to be really showing that glow like some I don't know I'm hearing August something about the month of August anyway um let's go ahead and see i'm also seeing peacocks that's a sign that you guys could be seeing a lot right now is peacocks i'm seeing red hearts color red peacock yeah i just keep seeing peacocks that's one of the symbolisms that you guys could be seeing i'm also hearing egypt in my head so maybe you guys have been seeing a lot of uh things talking about egypt i don't know maybe you're watching documentaries about egypt but something about egypt let's go ahead and see 
Okay, so you got key. So this is automatically making me think of Hecate, um, the goddess Hecate, because she has the keys as well as Persephone, but also the number 33 is here. So you guys could be seeing 333, number 33. I'm seeing 733 as a number that you could be seeing a lot. But this is making me think of like, again, it's literally says insight, revelation, unlocking, clarity, problem solving. You guys are going to be having a breakthrough soon. Um, again, this is a key to a new door. So there's a new door, a new opportunity, a new life that's going to be entering. And the bottom of the deck was a heart. I was just saying red hearts. I'm seeing there's going to be a new beginning in your guys' life entering soon, and it could very well deal with your emotions. This could talk about your love life. This can talk about your pleasure, your kindness, forgiveness, right? Softness. I feel like you guys are going through a time of healing. You guys are going through a time of forgiving yourself for past things that you feel guilty over. But I'm also seeing that this is a new when it comes to your love life and connections. There's a new cycle opening up in connections with others as well as yourself. And I'm seeing some form of clarity and breakthrough coming to you to help you focus on this healing. Um, the two and the four is making me think of six. So I'm seeing this as six, six, six and three, three, three. Those are numbers that you guys could be seeing right now. Why else is pile two seeing angel numbers? House, whoa house and anchor so there's a key and a house you guys could be buying a new home so one of the angel numbers or sorry one of the signs that you guys could be seeing they're trying to indicate to you that you could be moving soon so you could be having a new um i'm also seeing for some of you guys because it's making me think of the empress some of you guys could be moving into a new home some of you guys could be actually starting a new relationship right the heart this is like a new relationship or more committed relationships more stable relationships in your life but i'm also seeing for some of you if this applies if this is something that you want some of you guys could become pregnant at this time maybe you guys are wanting to start a family i'm seeing that for you um but this is all about stability, security, new firm foundations, but this is something that also will bring you a lot of love and healing as well. Something that you'll be really, really happy about. So I'm seeing good things coming to you guys, pile two. Some, wow, the bottom of the deck was ring. You guys could be 25 years old right now. That could resonate for some of you. Um, yeah, there's going to be some form of new uh, commitment here. Again, this could talk about a relationship. This could talk about a marriage, an agreement, but I'm seeing a new contract, a new agreement, but some form of new commitment or you guys are enhancing commitments in your guys' life very, very soon. Um, yeah. If this is a new connection with someone's spirit, who is the zodiac sign associated with this? Okay, I got the sun. I didn't mean to do this. So I'm seeing the summertime being significant for either a new home, a new relationship, or some form of new foundation. Um, I'm seeing this as Leo and Cancer. So Leo and Cancer could be significant, but I meant to get my, my zodiac sign. Let's see. So Leo, I just said that. And Taurus... And Taurus again, Cancer. So Leo, Taurus, and Cancer are the signs that I'm seeing, as well as Libra. So those are the zodiac signs associated with um, this person, if it is a person. So that is what I'm getting so far. Let's keep going and see why you guys are seeing signs and synchronicities. But yeah, I'm hearing Hecate in my head. I'm seeing Hecate wants to work with some of you. I, I don't know who that's going to resonate for. Um... Higher self, connect to your higher self, disconnect with the worldly desires, the ego is not who you really are. So I'm seeing that you're seeing signs and synchronicities because I'm seeing that you guys are connecting to your higher self. I feel like your guys' intuition is guiding you to a new life too. This newness that's about to enter your life, I feel like you guys are connecting to your higher path, your higher source. Um, there's something about how there's a lot of faded changes entering your guys' life. Like, 
I feel like you guys have been, you know, we all have a life purpose and a life mission. And this is what it, this is, makes me think of. Like, if you watch an anime, there's a sole purpose of what they're doing in the anime, right? But then there's, like, those, like, filler episodes where they're kind of straying from, like, the whole purpose of the show. But it's, like, just for fun. I feel like you guys have been going through a lot of filler episodes, <laughs> Pile 2. Um, you are the main character. There's a goal or a purpose as to why you're going through life. And you're going to be discovering that purpose um, and you're going to be following that path so you're going to be more aligned more in alignment with what you're supposed to be doing when it comes to your guys's life yeah healing again i'm seeing that you guys are really healing yourself and it says nourish your mind body and soul protect your energy you're filled with healing love so i feel like you guys are going to be really focusing on healing your body, your mind, and your soul, as well as healing relationships or any relationship trauma or, yeah, I'm hearing relationship trauma that you could be experiencing, any issues that it comes with your partnerships. On the bottom of the deck was also cat spirit. So it says, tap in your, into your intuitive gifts. Light still shines in darkness and patience. Wait for the right time to act. So I feel like you guys, you could be seeing a lot of signs of cats too. So maybe there's a certain cat that comes and sees you and butterflies could be also significant. Underneath that was epiphany. Yeah, I'm seeing for you, you guys are going to be getting some sort of breakthrough, epiphany, new ideas, and it could be in the form of a dream or possibly your intuition is going to be finally kicking in. There's something that you guys are going to be discovering, but I'm seeing this as a dream too. You guys could be unlocking some form of communication um, with a spirit guide. I don't know why I'm saying that. Maybe there's a spirit guide that will be coming to you in a dream and telling you something, offering advice, giving you some form of like, yeah, you're on the right path. But it's making me think of like, yeah, it says you're experiencing new insights, working towards a brighter future. You're ready to accept reality. Something's about to change in your life. And I feel like your intuition has been telling you something's about to change. But I feel like you're going to be getting that clarity that it will through a dream or through signs from your spirit guides. But something about how you guys are really following your intuition and you're doing the proper healing so that you can take action towards a new life, a new chapter in your guys' life. Yeah, anyway, let's uh, keep going and seeing why are you seeing signs and synchronicities. Dice as well as up in the air. You guys could be seeing dice symbolism or hot air balloons. That's also something that I'm seeing. But it says time to take a risk, getting out of your comfort zone, leap into the unknown, adventure awaits, as well as not knowing where you stand, situation decisions still undecided, uncertain about something, lacking stability. Your spirit guides are saying that even though you don't really know where you're going, um, again, this is making me think of a higher perspective. You're going up high so that you can really get better clarity on what's going on in your life and whenever i see things in the sky it makes me think of dreams as well as your spirit guides spiritual team i feel like you guys could be getting some sort of psychic download or a dream from your spirit guides telling you to take that risk take that chance um you might not know like physically what's going to happen but you have this gut feeling that you're supposed to be going after it um i'm getting that there's something new that you want to pursue or you're about to encounter something that you're like okay i'm gonna pursue this i don't know what's gonna happen but like all the signs are there they're telling me to do it and i feel like i need to do it you're not gonna knowing you're not gonna know how it's gonna happen but i'm also seeing a lot of stability from this risk you're unsure if there is stability, but I've got a lot of cards earlier for you talking about stability through taking this risk on yourself. Um, I do see that this is something that may have been delayed for you. So yeah, and bridge again, transition. So I feel like this has been delayed because you guys needed to transition. You needed to go through the healing process. I feel like this is something that you may have wanted in the past or you may have wanted for a while. And if this is talking about a new job, a new person, I'm seeing newness here, something that you want. You've been needing to heal and prepare for this to happen, which is why it's been taking so long to come in. Um, because it needed to, wow, dating. Yeah, for some of you guys, this has to do with your love life, karmic justice, and anger. So 
I feel like there's been a lot of things not going your way and I feel like you've been kind of resentful and angry with God, your spirit guides the universe saying, why are things not happening for me? Why is this not working out in my favor? And it's because your spirit guides were saying that, you know, you needed to learn some karmic lessons that may have to do with connections with others, relationship dynamics. So your love life, parent relationships, friends, people that you may live with. I'm seeing that there needed to be lessons that you needed to learn from this experience before this new thing could happen. Happen. And some of you guys could be entering a new relationship or you guys could be, you know, I'm hearing flirting with the idea of something new for you. So it doesn't have to be romantic necessarily, but I'm seeing that you guys had to go through some sort of transitional period in your guys' life for this to happen for you. So let's uh, do some tarot cards and see why else are you seeing signs and synchronicities. Renewal. Review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts. Time to move in a new direction. I'm pretty sure the renewal card is this. It's making me think of, um, I don't know. It's not judgment card. Why am I wanting to say judgment card? I'm hearing making a decision, but that's not what this card is. I'm pretty sure this is a, um, Oh my god, I cannot think of the card name now. Temperance. It's making me think of temperance, but I'm actually... I want to make sure that's right, because now I don't know. The Major Arcana. No, it's not. This is the temperance card. What is this card? <laughs> is this the judgment card? I don't know. Okay, I don't even know what card this is now. Um, someone can... Uh, write this down i actually hold on i have my tarot book i'm gonna look up the number 20 the 20th major arcana card i'll be right back you guys oh yes it was the judgment card this is the judgment card so there's some form of new decision but this is also making me think of a wake-up call for you you guys are about to have some form of a wake-up call and i'm seeing the two and the zero um I'm hearing impossible opportunities. I don't know what that means for you, but I'm seeing a lot of new opportunities coming to you in the form of either two options or just multiple options, but you're going to have to make a choice for yourself. That's why you're seeing the spirit guide, angel numbers, signs, whatever you guys are seeing. But you guys need to be able to assess your life, look at it from a higher perspective, and look at what you have available to you. What do you want to change in your life? How do you want your life to move forward? Because I'm seeing multiple paths about to enter your life, and I'm not really seeing there's no wrong choice pile two but i'm seeing that you guys need to follow your intuition because there is a choice that's opening up to you a path that's opening up to you that will be basically asking you to take a risk really be strong in the moment but i'm seeing a lot of happiness and stability coming out of it so eight of swords yeah something that you feel stuck on seven of swords Wow. Okay. So I'm seeing that you guys are going to be breaking free. You guys are going to be leaving a tricky and very hard situation. So this choice that you guys, I'm actually seeing this as two choices actually. So there's a choice where you can keep doing what you're doing and that choice makes you feel stuck, makes you feel unheard. You don't really see a outcome coming out of it but i'm also seeing the other choice will be asking you to take a risk usually the seven of swords talks about you choosing to uh take the high road you know cutting a commitment out but doing something that's a little bit tricky something that is a little bit more of a uh selfish move right so either being selfish or keep doing what you're doing and feeling restricted so there's two choices of restrictedness and freedom i'm seeing this as freedom that you're gonna have to be making for you for yourself um yeah and the queen of pentacles is making me make time for those around you it says take a sensible approach deal with the challenges so this eight of swords choice is making me think of this yes there's a lot of stability here but it's making me think that you guys again this card is talking about other people i don't know why i'm seeing the queen of pentacles as this message for this deck but this is making me think that this one choice of the Eight of Swords, it's making me think that you guys are giving a lot to other people, but not giving enough to yourself. Um, so something about this option isn't fulfilling your own needs like this option would be. 
I feel like this is the more selfish op option. This is the more selfless option. Okay. A lot of cards came out. The Dreamer, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, and Knight of Cups. Wow. This Seven of Swords option that's about to be coming into your guys' life pile too is definitely a new beginning and also a leap of faith. Follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities. This is, you know, maybe some of you guys are going to be choosing to be single if that is resonating, but this is making me think that you guys are going to be successful and happy all on your own doing something independently. Um, this is making me think that you guys are going to be, this is going to be a little bit hard. So there is something about making a choice and being fearful of it, feeling anxious of what could happen, but I'm seeing nothing but love. Falling in love, wedding proposals, the need to balance emotions. I'm seeing that whatever this risky option is, this risky choice is, is something that you will obvi obviously just be so in love with. This could be a person, a job, a chance, taking a chance on yourself, but you're going to be doing something independently. And I'm seeing that along the way, you guys could be falling in love or meeting someone new or trying something that you really want to do because you're just in love with it. I'm seeing this be, yeah, I'm seeing that there's a risk and then there's a choice where you're going to be, anyway, I'm stuttering. There's too many, op I'm, I'm hearing too many options for you. There's too many options. I feel like you're going to be feeling very confused and also overwhelmed because there's too many things going on. Um, too many offers. You may have to reject some of the offers. I'm seeing that you're going to be rejecting either one or two of these offers to fulfill and go and choose one of them. I, I do see, I don't know if this is just two. There could be more than two, but I'm seeing that there's a decision to keep doing what you're doing and feeling stuck, or you guys could be pursuing new options that are a little bit more uh, risky. Poison, toxic, unhealthy behaviors, people, young, childhood, playful. Again, this is the past. This is the Ace of Cups. This is a new beginning for you. You guys are leaving toxic people situations and living situations. And you guys are going to be having a new beginning for yourself. That's what I'm seeing. That's why your spirit guides are sending you signs and synchronicities. And again, there's a lot of chaos coming from this. All right. So for some of you guys, this could be love. I feel like someone is going to be, um, I'm getting this is like actually feelings that you have and this other person has for you. I don't, yeah, love is on the bottom of the deck. Your love life could be really chaotic right now. And I'm seeing that in the, in the, <laughs> I keep stuttering. I'm like losing my train of thought and I'm losing my will to speak. I don't know what's going on with me today. Um, I feel like, I feel like someone's going to be offering something to you that you didn't see coming, pile two. And this could be a love offer or a job offer, but for a lot of you, I'm seeing love here. I'm seeing that this is something that you didn't see coming, but I'm seeing that there's mutual feelings between you and this other person. And I feel like you're going to be dumbfounded. I'm seeing that you guys could be stuttering your words. You're going to be speechless. I'm hearing speechless in my head. Um, I'm also seeing for you guys, though, that you may be afraid. You may be cautious, guarded of this connection. Um, you're going to be feeling on top of the world, though. <clears throat> Again, I'm losing my voice. Oh, my God. Hold on. I need some water. I don't know if your spirit guides are not wanting me to talk about this. I almost feel like I need to move on from this message. Um, <coughs> sorry, you guys, but I, I feel like I need to stop talking about this topic because there's something about it that... It's really hard for me to speak. I'm losing my train of thought. But I'm seeing some change when it comes to your guys' uh, love life. And I'm just going to leave it at that because I feel like I need to move on. Your guides want me to move on. So I'm going to go ahead and move on. Um, I will say, though, I, I do feel like there's going to be a change in your guys' love life and connections. I feel like that's a really big focus. So I'm just going to pull one or two cards from this deck and I'm going to leave it at that. And then we are going to move on to your charms to get some last messages for you. What are the changes happening in Pile 2's love life? Finances. So, money problems. So, it seems like your money issues are going to be a big change here. Social media. Wow. Wow. Okay. Third parties here, too. 
Okay, so I'm getting more money here. So for some of you guys that work online, you make money through social media. I'm getting, I'm definitely getting this is, I'm sorry. I'm definitely getting that this is a message for someone specific. There's something about how you guys are wanting to build up your finances. You're wanting to have a career when it comes to social media, working online, computer work. I'm seeing that you guys, I'm hearing about to blow up. Someone's about to have some sort of increase when it comes to their, even if this is not an online thing, this could be an independent business. There's some form of independent business that's about to blow up or it's about to gain a lot of like friction. A lot of uh, people want to buy your services or whatever. You're going to be saving enough money so that you can buy a home if that's something that you want. And I'm also seeing that you guys are going to be leaving a situation so something about how your money is about to increase so that you can move physically or move away from something emotionally or mentally i'm seeing a new beginning coming to you i'm also seeing third party so i'm getting that there could be some situation where maybe you are living with other people um and it's something that is stressing you out you want to move away from these people so that you can live independently i'm seeing you leaving people leaving a job you're leaving something behind you're leaving a living environment, a relationship dynamic, but something that you guys are going to be leaving behind because you're finally going to be getting the money um, and the stability without this other person or people involved. You're going to be moving on from people. Yeah, I don't know. Let's, uh, finishing touches, finishing messages, hook up. Oh, Wow. Okay, so for some of you guys, I actually see that you guys could actually be having a... <laughs> okay, so you guys could be leaving a connection with someone that you may have some form of commitment with. Again, you guys could have a family with someone. This is going to be kind of like, eh. Yeah, this is here. And roll the dice was here too. Okay, you guys are taking a chance on leaving something committed. I don't know if this is a love connection. I don't know if this is a job. You're leaving a commitment that has other people involved or other situations involved. You guys have been having this grass is greener mentality. You guys are attracted to someone else or you guys are playing with the idea of starting up something new. I'm seeing that that is going to be good. The grass is greener on the other side when it comes to whatever this is. Um, your spirit guides are telling you to take a chance on this person, take a chance on this situation. There's something better for you is what I'm hearing. But you may have to leave someone or something behind to go after that. And this could very well deal with your love life. Or it could, again, I'm I'm trying to make this as broad as possible, but... I'm just seeing you're leaving something committed behind to pursue something new that you feel very, very magnetized and attracted to or drawn to. That is the main message that I'm seeing for you, pal, too. So to end your guys' video off, I'm going to go ahead and do my charms to get some last messages. I'm going to move my dice out of my charm bowl really quickly just so we can get started. I'm sorry if I've been stuttering so much today. I'm looking at my charm bowl and I'm seeing this was stuck in here. There's a puzzle piece and this magic wand. It's making me think of finding the missing piece. It feels like something's been missing in your life. And I feel like your spirit guides are letting you know that you're going to be finding something that you have been missing. Something's going to feel complete. You're going to be feeling whole. So I don't know if that's you or... Didn't we get a key for you? There's a keyhole here. What are the chances of that? Also, 1996 is here. We have a, I think this is a Playboy bunny. So I'm seeing temptation. So again, this is also making me think of risky behavior. There's going to be a door that you're going to be tempted to open very, very soon. We got a mask here that shows a sad to happy. I'm actually seeing this as... Sad, yeah, sad to happy. I said it's sad to happy, but it's happy to sad. But I'm seeing this as an opportunity. There's two choices. I just keep seeing two. You can continue to be sad or you can choose to be happy is what I'm hearing. There's something new that's about to enter your life. I'm seeing Scorpio. So this could be with a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. But this is making me think of fears, things that are hidden, things that are taboo. 
this is something that's going to be a little bit taboo or something where people aren't going to understand your decision making, your choice making. It's going to be a tower moment for some of you guys. There's a lot of chaotic energy that I'm seeing. This risk, this chance, this new opportunity is going to be coming in the form of turmoil for some of you guys. I, I know that's kind of a scary thing to hear, um, but this thing that you're wanting is going to be a little bit messy. I'm seeing that. You're going to have to... Uh, make some drastic decisions to get this thing. I'm also seeing that this is something that you've had a lot of like mountain um, situations in your life, a lot of blockages, a lot of restrictions for you to really leave this moment in time of chaos, restrictions, things that are kind of, I'm actually getting this, for you to leave this moment of time of feeling stuck, you may have to make things messy. You may have to have anger come out. I'm seeing you guys like just kind of like like for example, a dragon. You guys need to be chaotic. You know, claim your power. Show your fierceness. I'm just seeing that you may need to do things a little bit rebelliously and crazy to get the result that you're wanting. You need to kind of like do things unpredictably. Um, things that people don't expect out of you. Um, I'm just seeing you need to go crazy, so I don't really know what that's gonna mean for all of you guys, but, uh, yeah, um, <laughs> that's all that I'm seeing for you guys, Pile 2, but Pile 2, that is why you guys are seeing signs and synchronicities. If you liked this video, go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe down below. I'll be posting more videos like this in the future, and I will see all of you guys next time. Bye! How three, so you guys went ahead and chose the gossip card. Uh, this is going to be why you guys are seeing angel numbers, signs, synchronicities, anything like that, possibly names or smells. We are going to be looking into as to why that is happening to you. So because you guys chose the gossip card, I do get a f indicator here that someone has been thinking about you a lot talking about you to other people but i'm seeing people so this could be one person or multiple but you guys are seeing signs and synchronicities because someone or people in general are thinking speaking about you i'm hearing some people may even be gossiping or lying about you but there could be people spreading rumors lies about you um, but I'm also getting for some of you guys, there's just people that are talking about you because they may like you, but we're going to be looking into that. I'm just seeing people are thinking about you, talking about you, lying about you. That is why you're seeing signs and synchronicities right now. Um, I'm also seeing that you could be seeing 111 and 1111. That's one of the signs that I'm seeing for you guys that you could be seeing. That's one of the main things. Um, why am I getting this... I'm seeing the Incredibles movie in my head, and it's Mrs. Incredible. It's Elastigirl. For some reason, I'm seeing her. I'm hearing stretching the truth in my head. So I am definitely seeing that someone could be gossiping about you, and the person that could be gossiping about you, they could very well have red hair, or they could have light color hair, auburn hair. They have red, it could be dyed, or it could be natural, but they could have orange to red hair, copper hair, and I don't know if this is colored hair or this is their natural hair. I'm also hearing strawberry blonde, but someone that has lighter hair or bleached out hair, I don't know. Someone that has dyed hair or, I'm hearing funky colors, so this person could dye their hair funky colors, but someone's gossiping about you, um, stretching the truth out about you. Someone's, I'm getting it could even be out of jealousy or spite. Uh, we'll look at, oh wow, I just pulled the deck. Wow, okay, I just picked this up to look at the bottom and this woman has red hair and literally it's the seven of wands and it says defend your beliefs and decisions, stand your ground, choose your battles wisely. Someone feels defensive because of you. Someone feels like they're, sp okay, this person that I'm getting, I'm getting multiple people are talking about you, but this person with red hair, and I'm getting that they're a feminine, someone feels like they have to defend what they have. Someone feels really, really, like, what's the word that I'm trying to think of? Someone feels like you can take someone or something from them. They're feeling really defensive. They feel like they have to stand guard. I'm getting that someone's spreading rumors and lies about you because they feel like you're going to be taking something from them. They feel like you have something that they don't. This could be, you know, maybe they're scared of their partner being around you. Maybe they're scared of a job position. Someone feels really competitive with you. 
That's what I'm getting. So that's why you're seeing, I'm hearing the name Angela, Angie, Annie. I'm seeing an A name. Someone could have an A name or someone could have an A in their name, in their first name. But yeah, that's what I'm getting. So you could be seeing signs of this person talking about you. Um, I'm also hearing that when you sneeze, that's when this person's thinking about you or talking about you. But I am also getting that there's other people talking about you. It's not, this person's coming in hot and strong. But I'm also getting that there's someone else that could be talking about you. But let's go ahead and see why you're seeing angel numbers, signs, and synchronicities. What is going on here? Female, I was just saying that there's a feminine that is talking about you. Public meeting, public reputation, public affairs, community, social networks. Someone is talking about you to other people and it looks like it's a feminine. This person could be 29 years old. They could be 20. I'm seeing 20 to 29 years old. So they're kind of like, you know, in their 20s. Um, again, this is kind of broad, but I'm definitely seeing a female is talking about you. Definitely. You guys are seeing signs and synchronicities because someone is talking about you. I'm also seeing that you're going to be meeting up with this person really, really soon. Like through a public event. Um, this could be a party. This could be a get-together. This could be some form. I don't know what this is. Um, and the bottom of the deck, it says arguments too. Yeah, this person... Oh my god. There's a feminine in your guys' life. Pile 3, I'm so sorry about this message. There's a feminine in your guys' life that may be angry with you. They may feel like, you know, animosity towards you because there's some form of tension or they feel like you're challenging them. Again, they're being really competitive with you. I feel like you have something that they don't or they feel like you could be taking something from them. And again, 11 is here. So 11, 11. I'm just, yeah, and this turns into an 11 also. So you guys are seeing 111 and 1111 because, or also 222, because someone that's a feminine is talking about you because they feel challenged, they feel jealous, they feel like you have something that they don't. I'm so sorry for this message. Yeah, also moon. They feel that you're more beautiful than them. There's something about how you guys, wow. You guys have a superpower. And you know what your superpower is, Pow 3? You have the power of seduction. I'm seeing that. You guys can get anyone to like you. I'm seeing that you guys could get people to like you, to love you. A lot of, sorry you guys, you have a lot of people thinking about you. I'm, I'm seeing the, the main person is this female, but I'm seeing that you guys capti captivate people. A lot of people have feelings for you, um, either romantically or, you know, friendship wise, but people just have this, you have this way with people, pal three. And I think that's why this person is jealous. They see that you have opportunities that they don't have. They see that you guys can attract partners that they want or they feel like you have this way with you where you can get anyone to be on your side there's something about this that this woman is or this feminine is very very jealous of and it's something that you have within you um yeah I'd, i feel like they're going through a period of loss right now and you're winning i'm hearing that you're winning right now i was also hearing earlier for you that you guys are about to receive some karmic justice so if you guys are worried about this woman like ruining again your reputation maybe this woman has been trying to spread lies ruining your reputation i'm seeing some form of karmic justice being served to you but also to this person this person is not going to get away with what they're trying to do behind the scenes again and, you know, there's one thing about being jealous, but she's trying to do some, like, really petty stuff. Like, she's really trying to make your life miserable um, because she's miserable, because this person's upset and miserable. So I'm seeing karmic justice coming to you for this unfair situation, okay? Um, let's see, why else are you seeing not signs and okay travel go someplace you've never been and adventure waits travel will open your heart so i see you going somewhere a public meeting i was seeing this earlier you guys may be going somewhere where you actually run into this person or you may be running into people that she again there's a feminine i feel like you guys are going to be seeing this feminine in public 
And whatever this is, is going to be helping resolve an issue. So maybe you guys are going to be talking this out with someone. Maybe the gossip that she's spreading to these people, you're going to be meeting these people and you're going to be changing these people's minds about you or changing this person's mind about you. But you're going to be going somewhere where you're going to be running into this person and possibly other people through a public meeting and there's going to be a change. Yeah, timing here. It says when the time is right, it will happen. Don't rush the journey. Time will reveal what's been hidden. Yeah, I'm seeing that something that's been hidden is about to be revealed through a meetup with someone, through an encounter with people. Um, yeah, look at that. Underneath the card, it says tipping point. Everything can change all at once. Urgent action needs to be taken. Critical point in a situation. I, I definitely feel like whatever this is, you guys, there's going to be some sort of get together, meet up, or conversation that you have with someone or multiple people that is going to be in divine timing. And I'm seeing that whatever unfair situation you may be in right now is literally going to be balancing the scales. It's going to be tipping things in your favor. Um, and it's through going somewhere. I, I feel like you're going to be at the right place at the right time. I, I just, I feel like it's something's going to be working out in your favor when it comes to people spreading false information about you or people wanting something that you have. Yeah, look at this deep feeling of belonging, two souls becoming one. So this could be a reconciliation with someone. So, and again, it looks like a feminine. So you guys could be having a reconciliation with a person. Let's see what zodiac sign this person is. I can't remember if I did this already or not. Um, I might have, but I, I kind of forgot. Who is this? They could be an Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising. They could be a Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Rising. They could be a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. They could be a Scorpio. Or they could be a Leo. So I'm seeing if this is not a feminine. I'm, I am getting really strong feminine. There's going to be some form of reconciliation with one of those signs that I said. Um, something about an intimate connection with someone. I'm seeing that this could either be a reconciliation or there's going to be some form of intimate moment at this public event between you and another person. Yeah, this was here too. Who or what is triggering you? Look deeper. Oh. You know what I'm getting for you, Pile 3? There's going to be an event that you go to with this person. This person, this woman's going to be there. But there's also going to be other people there that you vibe with. And I feel like you, yeah, there are going to be, okay. And there's going to be a person that you vibe with that this person also wants to vibe with. Um, if it's not a person, this is a situation or something that this person also wants. You're going to be at this place where this feminine is and you're going to be getting something that you want from another person, whether this be love, attention, an opportunity, but this person really wants this also. This feminine is really jealous of this. Um, I feel like whatever this opportunity is from that zodiac sign person, because I was seeing the intimacy that's coming to you is going to be from that zodiac sign. I feel like this woman is different. Um, just I feel like whoever this feminine is, may have been gossiping to this person that I was getting earlier about you. And you're going to be meeting this person that this feminine has been gossiping to about you. And you're going to be vibing really well with them. Um, you guys will be very similar. You guys will be mirroring each other's energy. And you guys will be very open and communicative. And it's, it's just going to flow. I'm seeing a flowing of conversation. And this woman or feminine is not going to be happy about that. I feel like they're going to be seeing... Everything that they try to do behind the scenes is basically unraveling. It's not working out in their favor. They try to basically discredit you. <clears throat> they try to uh, talk negatively about you. I'm losing my voice, you guys. Um, I, I feel like... Yeah, hold on. Let me get some water. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm like losing losing my voice with this message. Um, I feel like someone has been trying to keep you quiet. I think that's what I'm getting. I think what's going to be happening is you're going to be at this event talking to this person that this person doesn't want you to talk to. Again, I'm getting a person 
and I don't know if it's because of, you know, love related or possibly they want something from that person that you also want through an opportunity. Um, but I'm seeing that whatever she said won't really matter because whatever this is, you guys were meant to vibe with this person. Um, the words of this feminine aren't going to be getting to that other person because I feel like they see the truth. I feel like they're going to be seen through this feminine when you guys meet each other. Um, at this opportunity place. I don't, I don't know. I'm just getting that there's going to be whatever the feminine's trying to do against you behind your back is not going to work. And it's going to be happening when you guys are all together publicly. I want to move on from this message though and see if we can get anything else for you guys, just because I've been talking about this for a while. Um, there, okay. Again, there's a higher purpose happening here. Again, there's a feminine online self-image so another reason why you guys are seeing signs and synchronicities is there's something to do with improving your self-image and it looks like it could be through other people again there's a lot of things talking about communication again we got travel again whatever this travel is is going to be improving your reputation so i'm seeing a reputation change coming to you guys very very soon um people are going to be wanting to reach out to you more um i'm also hearing if you have a side business you guys are going to be getting a lot of um good reviews there's something about how you guys have been really focusing and working on yourself and it's starting to show we also had this too as well which talks about deep shadow work so you guys have been learning some really hard lessons lessons. Um, the reason why you guys are going through all this is because you guys are becoming better. You're learning the lessons that need to be applied. I feel like this happens, this is happening for a reason, Pile 3, because again, you're having some sort of renewal in your life. There's a transformation that you guys are going through, and I feel like there's also some anger that I see here. I'm seeing the fire as anger, spark, initiation. You guys are learning to have a backbone, but you're also going to be proving people wrong about you. That's why you're seeing angel numbers right now. There's a really strong message of growth and rebirth and transformation, and I'm also getting kind of like a dragon. You know, you're not afraid to show your fierceness if someone's wronged you you're not afraid to you know <laughs> attack them i guess be more aggressive not physically you know not literally be more aggressive but being aggressive as in showing who you really are to people um proving people wrong about you i'm hearing vengeance you guys are going to be getting the vengeance and also the um yeah, I'm seeing vengeance for you guys. Karmic relationships. So you guys are learning some karmic, uh, you guys are ending karmic patterns right now. So it could be through karmic relationships, third party relationships, or this is a karmic lesson that you guys are learning. Um, this car just flew into my lap. Hold on. Film four. Chemistry, more fire. Wow. Okay, I'm also seeing for some of you guys, there is a karmic person or karmic partner entering your guys' life um, that you're going to be having insane chemistry with. There's someone that is meant to be in your path. Um, I'm also seeing signs that you could be seeing is airplanes. It's chess, fire. Those are some signs and symbolisms that you guys could be seeing right now. But the Ace of Wands, this is making me think of a desire for someone. There's someone that you're going to be meeting or having a lot of chemistry with which is why i feel like you guys are seeing these signs and synchronicities and again it could be romantic or it could just be someone that you just really vibe with that could be bringing you new opportunities and again i feel like it's because this feminine is really jealous this feminine also wants this opportunity i don't know but you guys are this is definitely someone that was destined this is a faded meeting with someone um faded person Okay, chase or hot pursuit. I feel like you guys, yep, you're meant to come together with someone. So I'm not really getting, it's making me think of a feminine and a masculine. I'm getting that there's, this feminine is a completely different person. This feminine has been trying to keep you and another person away from each other. And it could be because of a romanticness or it could be because you want to work with this person. But this feminine has been feeling jealous of this opportunity or something that you have, um, 
you're you're meant to connect with whoever this other person is and this person wants you just as much as you want them again it's going to feel very playful you guys feel very drawn to each other and again this does not have to be romantic it could be friendship or platonic or work related but this feminine has been trying to keep you away from this person because they see that you could be a better candidate than they are um and i'm seeing that the reason why you're seeing angel numbers is because this is some sort of spiritual contract. You guys were meant to meet this person and connect with this person for a reason. Um, they have something that you want or you have something that this other person wants, but I'm seeing mirroring. So you guys both want something out of each other. It's very mutual and this feminine is not happy about it. Um, yeah, pretending. I feel like Again, this is like making me think that this person has been, there's the feminine again, living beyond means fake. This feminine has been really fake. This person has been trying to, I'm hearing covering up and stuff. Why am I hearing that? I just, I feel like there's a third party situation where something has been, someone or something has been cock blocking another connection. I feel like this woman has been trying to put things in the way of you meeting this person. Um, she's been trying to uh, pretend that she's the right candidate for this person. And again, this could be a work opportunity, but someone's been trying to get in the way of your happiness, your success, or possibly your guys' love life. I'm seeing that. And I'm seeing that that is going to be coming to a close very very soon this person cannot get away with it for very much longer let's get a love message for you because i feel like for some of you guys this is involving your love life between the lines hidden meaning vague speculate implicit yeah in reading between the lines i feel like you and this person are going to be seeing that there's been something getting in the way reading into the details looking at things really for what they are mystery there's a lot of things that are unknown i'm hearing again deja vu confusing there's been a lot of confusion when it comes to this um connection or whatever this is finances so this could be a business agreement this could be like literally you meeting a person to make more money they want to offer you a job position again i feel like someone is trying to take something that belongs to you i keep getting that fear again this woman i just keep seeing woman feminine this feminine is afraid of you taking someone from or taking someone or something from them but i feel like whatever this is is meant to be yours this could be a new job opportunity i feel like someone's trying to take something from you wedding okay you guys could be meeting at a wedding or some form of event spiritual awakening okay so <sighs> you guys are going to be getting i'm sorry i keep moving this i'm so sorry whatever this public event is it doesn't have to be a wedding but there's a public event that you're going to be going to with multiple people here um and whatever that is is going to be bringing some form of revelation or epiphany to you this person and whatever is involved i feel like you're going to be meeting a person they're going to be getting some form of epiphany about this feminine in her lies okay and i actually do see some form of unexpected text message or message sent to you after this event telling you that they were they thought wrong about you this person was lying to them about you they decided to offer this to you instead i feel like someone's going to be basically taking off the mask of whatever the situation is again someone had a hidden motive against you someone was lying about you divine timing is in your favorite pile three and whoever this person this feminine is that's been lying to this person or these other people they're going to be finding out about it they're going to be realizing that this feminine was wrong that they were lying they had a hidden motive um and i'm seeing this happening this could literally be at a wedding or it could be at some function with a lot of people involved and i'm seeing formal wear so this could be some form of party when it comes to your job i'm seeing people dressing up and looking nice so this could be an actual party prom i don't know why i said prom it could be prom it could be a uh, a social event where you have to look nice but yeah that's what i'm getting for you guys so let's pull some tarot cards and see what else is going on 
Eight of Swords and the Fool card. So you guys are going to be releasing a lot of fears. Eight of Pentacles. I'm seeing, yeah, I feel like you guys, this is making me think of some form of work opportunity, but if it's not, um, it says learning all there is to know about a topic. There's going to be some form of truth that's about to be exposed literally an illusion that someone else had or people had about you is about to dissipate um learning out learning the truth finding out the truth no more secrets no more lies the high priestess your intuition release the death card also the star oh my god and the wheel i'm saying this right now things are about to turn in your favor pile three again your intuition, people learning the truth, right? People learning the truth. There's an ending, no more BS, right? You guys are going to be recognized and seen for who exactly you are. There's going to be healing, right? Happy times ahead, as well as a positive change. So if you guys are worried about this feminine getting in the way of your happiness and success, like I've been saying, don't. I'm seeing luck is in your favor and this is something that you had to be patient for wait for but i'm telling you i'm telling you karma is a bitch i'm so sorry pile three but karma is like even if it doesn't work in your timing karma always reaps its rewards but also karma always comes to collect so i'm telling you it may happen a year from now 10 years from now five months from now i don't know but it's in God's timing, right? And I'm seeing that whatever this is, is going to be happening really soon. I want to see what time frame. Um, I am getting that it's going to be happening. For you guys, I'm feeling like this is going to be happening. Are you going to be hearing news about this within this year? But let's see what time frame. So Virgo season, Gemini season, and Cancer season. So that's all very close. So I'm seeing like summer through fall. So I'm seeing from May all the way through September is going to be these changes and unfolding of events happening for you guys. Okay. So to end your guys' video off, let's do some charms to see why you guys are seeing angel numbers, synchronicities, all that jazz. I'm so sorry for moving my phone around. <laughs> Um, and then that will be about it. I'm just gonna get the dice out of my charm bowl very quickly. All right, spirit guides, why are pile three seeing angel numbers, synchronicities, signs? Okay, do public recognition. That's the one thing you're going to be receiving. The three of swords is in reverse. There's literally something about heartbreak, tragedy, betrayal that you're going to be healing from that literally healing this is a toxicity symbol did you see that i was like not being able to speak earlier intuition i feel like you guys are going to be in a five is here 55 that could be a number that you're seeing there's going to be a change to a toxic situation there's going to be a change to you not being able to speak up about something that is changing magic bottle drink me there's going to be a magical solution it's like a night and day difference again clarity truth something's going to be working out in your favor and i'm seeing you being with another person someone's going to want to offer you something they could be a scorpio sun moon or rising that could be a uh, confirmation for someone but this also makes me think of sex and intimacy though um so something that's hidden so i'm seeing that there's going to be someone wanting to offer you something to you that they see could be long term something that they desire as well as what you desire and it's going to be something you guys could be drinking too i'm hearing liquid courage in my head so someone could be drinking and like offering this to you um because they're nervous but if that's not resonating i'm seeing that this is like a night and day change i'm seeing that um let's go ahead and roll these dice and then that will be about it what else um, is pile three seeing signs and synchronicities? Fourth house, Uranus and Leo. Wow. So this is going to be a very sudden change when it comes to your comfortability. Also, your form of expression, your heart, your dating life. I'm seeing a stable offer coming to you. 
Um, someone could even be wanting to offer you a stable outcome. This could be a Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising that could be coming to you. But a change in the home, a change in your living situation, or a change in your environment. And I'm seeing a peace of mind coming to you. A sense of comfort. Um, you feeling safe is also what I'm hearing. That is going to be changing for you guys. But pile three, that is all that I have for you. So if you liked this video... Go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe down below. I'll be posting more videos like this in the future, and I will see all of you guys next time. Bye!